During World War II, submarines were very valuable attack vehicles. They were basically surface ships that could sail underwater for a brief time. Apart from armament and other advanced features, let's see which submarine class can dive deep enough into the sea. Today, we'll present the top 10 deepest diving submarines of World War II by class. This list is based on test depth, which is the maximum depth at which a submarine is permitted to operate under normal peacetime circumstances. So without further ado, let's get started. The 10th deepest diving submarine of World War II by class is the T-Class or Triton class of diesel electric submarines which was built for the Royal Navy. The class's 53 ships were built right before and during World War II, and they played an important role in the Royal Navy's submarine operations. Submerged propulsion was provided by a 336-cell battery driving to 1,080 kW. These provided an endurance of 48 hours at 2.5 knots or only one hour at the maximum submerged speed of 9 knots. The T-Class were capable of operating at depths of up to 107 meters or 350 feet. At number 9, we have the Amphion class. The British diesel-electric submarines of the Amphion class were built for deployment in the Pacific War. During World War II, they were intended to replace the S-Class and the T-Class submarines, which were too sluggish and unable to dive deep enough to be useful in the Pacific seas. The Amphion class had a high, flared bow for excellent sea performance and had effective air conditioning essential for Far East submarine operations. This class was powered by a pair of Admiralty ML8 cylinder diesel engine, producing 2,150 horsepower each. The test depth of this submarine is 152 meters or 500 feet. At number 8 is the German Type 23 submarines. These were tiny coastal submarines meant to operate in the North Sea, Black Sea, and Mediterranean Sea's shallow waters. Now, due to enhanced streamlining of their design, greater batteries, and the snorkel which allowed the diesel engines to be operated while submerged, they were able to stay submerged virtually the whole period and were quicker than regular U-boats. These boats revolutionized post-war submarine designs. The class is powered by MWM RS-134S six-cylinder diesel engine. The boats were capable of operating at depths of up to 180 meters or 590 feet. The seventh deepest diving submarine class of World War II is the USS Baleo class submarines, which was built for the U.S. Navy. USS Tang was a Baleo-class submarine of the World War II, the first ship of the United States Navy to bear the name Tang. Tang actually achieved a depth of 612 feet or 187 meters during a test dive and then exceeded that test depth when taken on water in the forward torpedo room while evading a destroyer. This class was powered by nine-cylinder opposed piston diesel engines driving electric generators. Tang class received four battle stars and two presidential unit citations for World War II service. During the war, Tang was credited with sinking 31 ships in her five patrols totaling 227,800 tons and damaging two for 4,100 tons. Number six on the list for the top 10 deepest diving submarine class of World War II is the Type 1 U-boat. In 1940, U-25 and U-26 were the boats which were called into combat duty due to the shortage of available submarines. Both boats experienced short but successful combat careers. U-25 participated in five war cruises, sinking eight enemy ships. This electric diesel submarine was powered by a pair of MAN M8 V40 468 cylinder diesel engines with 3,040 shaft horsepower each. The Type 1 U boats were capable of operating at depths of up to 201 meters or 660 feet. At number 5, we have the Type 10 U boats. These were a special type of German submarine. They were used as long-range mine layers as well as long-range cargo transports, and it was created with the intention of carrying the SMA moored mine. 
The original design had a dry storage for the mines, which required individual detonator adjustments before launch. The submarine was expected to have a displacement of up to 2,500 tons, and they were powered by a pair of supercharged GWF-46, a nine-power unit, nine-cylinder, four-stroke diesel engines, which produced a power output of 3,500 kilowatt each. They have a maximum test depth of 720 feet or 220 meters. Up next at number four is the Type 9 U-boat. This submarine was a large ocean-going submarine designed by Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine in 1935 and 1936 for extended operations distant from home support facilities. In an attempt to interrupt the flow of soldiers and supplies going for Europe, Type 9 boats were temporarily utilized for patrols off the east coast of the United States. They were powered with a pair of manned M9V 40 or 46 supercharged 9-cylinder diesel engines producing 4,300 shaft horsepower each. These boats were capable of operating at depths of up to 700 feet or 228 meters. At number 3 is Type 21 submarines. These were a class of German diesel-electric submarines designed during the Second World War. They were the first submarines designed to spend the majority of their time underwater rather than operating as surface ships that could dive for short durations to avoid detection. They used many batteries to extend the amount of time they could stay underwater to several days, and they just had to rise to periscope depth to recharge by snorkel. The Type 21 was distinguished by its hydrodynamically streamlined hull and a conning tower, as well as its enormous battery cell count, which was nearly triple that of the German Type 7 submarine. The submarine could travel submerged at about 5 knots for about 75 hours. The maximum test depth of these submarines is 787 feet or 240 meters. Number 2 on the list is the German Type 14 submarines. These were shortened Type 90s. The boats had a surface displacement of 1,688 tons and a submerged displacement of 1,932 tons. The submarines were powered by two Germania Werft supercharged four-stroke six-cylinder diesel engines, producing a total of 2,800 to 3,200 metric horsepower. The boats were capable of operating at depths of up to 240 meters or 790 feet. The most frequent kind of German U-boat during World War II was the Type 7. By the end of the war, 703 boats had been produced. With 703 submarines manufactured, Type 7 submarines were the most commonly utilized U-boats of the war and the most manufactured submarine class in history. The Type 7 U-boat was the most numerous type of U-boat in the Battle of the Atlantic. Type 7 U-boats include Type 7A, Type 7B, Type 7C, Type 7C-41, Type 7C-42, Type 7D, and Type 7F. Most of them had a test depth of more than 750 feet or 228 meters, but for the Type 7C-42, their test depth is 270 meters or 890 feet. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button so we can keep making video for you guys. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. Bye-bye.